Welcome back to the channel guys. Um, this is week two of weekly uploads. Today we're gonna do be doing a part two basically of how to start your own successful streetwear brand because a lot of you guys were commenting for a part two. But today I'm gonna be diving more into like promotion but I'm still gonna be answering some of the questions that a lot of people were asking. But I just wanna say thank you guys for tuning in again. If you guys are new, hit the bell notification so you know when I upload. Subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below what videos I should do next. And I appreciate you guys. Let's get into the video. Okay, so basically, I know you guys aren't used to this background. I'm actually at me and uh, Ransom's warehouse right now filming this because I don't even know. I just left my camera here and I really wanted to get this video out. But today we're going to be talking about how to promote your brand to make it successful because I saw comments of people saying, well, this is easy, but what's not easy is selling 100 t-shirts. But today I'm going to talk about it. So the first step if you really want to get coverage for your brand is just be different make different types of items I dropped these opal chains and those went crazy because it's different nobody in the streetwear community was really making opal jewelry but I made it and if you make cool and different stuff it'll gravitate people towards your brand I mean that's just a given instead of doing like a regular screen printed tee try to do something that's different and cool and if you do that, you can upload that on TikTok and I promise you will get a lot of people to love your stuff on TikTok because as you guys know, TikTok is a tool that can really help your business or just help you grow as a person if you're doing something personal. But um, if you do something different and post it on TikTok, I promise you nine times out of 10, it'll do good numbers and it'll do good for your business because people love seeing stuff on there that's out of the box and people haven't done because TikTok people are so used to seeing people doing the anime girl on a t-shirt uh, screen printed and it's just like basic shit but once you bring some new stuff to the table on TikTok I promise people will love it and you will get a good following that's that's the number one way to promote right now for anything I know a whole lot of brands that are really big that have hit me up they're like, hey, we're trying to transfer to TikTok. We need your help, what do we do? Because Instagram is just really not cutting it anymore. They're cutting their engagement in halves for like a lot of big companies. And TikTok is just the way, I promise. But if you don't wanna use TikTok or you just wanna pay for promotion through something else, I suggest paying for promotion on TikTok. That's right, you could pay for your video to get views and numbers on TikTok and reach a certain target audience. I recommend that if you really just don't wanna put effort into TikTok but you wanna see your video grow, you can always pay for promotion on there. The other option that I know that works really well is Snapchat ads. Snapchat ads work really well. Um, there's a lot of people that still use Snapchat, especially a lot of a younger audience. So if you want a younger audience to gravitate towards your clothes, you can do Snapchat ads and they're always running promotions on Snapchat ads where you'll spend $100 and get $100 free in ads. But honestly, I don't even pay for ads on my clothing brand and my clothing brand just hit 73,000 followers. I simply just post on TikTok and don't post cringy shit on TikTok and it does good. Now I wanna answer some of the most asked questions about the last video I made on starting successful streetwear brand. First big question is how do I buy my own blanks because I don't wanna go through a manufacturer and the simple question is you're really not gonna be able to and there's no reason why you should be trying to purchase your own blanks. You should always find a manufacturer that has a wholesale license that can purchase those blanks for you because trust me, you're gonna have to buy a screen printing machine, all this stuff, and it's not gonna be worth it. And I just suggest finding a menu that can print your clothes and they might be expensive, but at least you're getting the job done and getting quality stuff out to your customers. So I suggest always finding a manufacturer and don't do it on your own because we have a whole warehouse and we still don't do it on our own. It's not worth it. Second most asked question is, how do I make a cut and sewn piece, such as like a fleece or a knitted sweater or jewelry? It could be, I just had questions for jewelry and cut and sewn pieces, so we'll talk about cut and sewn pieces first, and then we'll get into jewelry. So cut and sewn pieces. You're gonna wanna download the app, you're gonna wanna download WhatsApp or Alibaba. Those are gonna be both your right-hand mans when you're doing cut and sewn pieces. 
you're gonna want to make a tech pack and if you guys don't know what a tech pack is um, I'll have Rob put one up on the screen right now and this really isn't like a crazy ass tech pack if anything it's very very simplified because usually in tech packs you're supposed to have all the materials laid down on the tech pack your measurements for your sizing um, you get all in the little details on tech packs and that is because samples are really expensive and if you send a detailed enough tech pack, they most likely won't screw up your sample. But tech packs are important because there's a language barrier, as you guys know, if you're speaking to somebody in Pakistan or China or anywhere overseas. So you wanna just simplify the item you're trying to make as much as you can to make it easier on your manufacturer and to make it easier on yourself. So you can make tech packs in um, Illustrator, I think Illustrator is way easier to make tech packs in than Photoshop, that's what I've heard. I just use Photoshop since I've been using it for so long. But yeah, you want to make a tech pack and then basically you pay them overseas and then they email or they will email you your purchase confirmation, they send you your sample and then you can see if you want to run bulk or not. And that's pretty much the simplest way about making a cut and sewn piece. Just tech pack, menu, and you're good to go. And you can find menus on Alibaba, or if you know somebody that has a big clothing brand, they might be nice enough to give you your man their menu. A lot of people don't give out menus because it's just you don't wanna you don't wanna hand out the sauce, you know? But um and jewelry, jewelry is basically the same way. Alibaba, you can get it made out in Los Angeles, but the thing is it's gonna be so fucking expensive and it's really not worth it but you can get really high quality jewelry made overseas get it made for a really good price too and this is high quality jewelry I'm talking you could shower in it you could get wet whatever high quality jewelry basically the same way you just want to make a mock-up of your measurements in Photoshop and send it to your manufacturer and say hey I want to do this sterling silver or whatever material you want to use it in and just make sure you simplify it for them so you don't pay for five samples because you can't get it right. But um, that's how you make jewelry. Another question is, how'd you come up with your name? And basically crypto world means mysterious world and uh, crypto means mysterious in Greek mythology. And um, you just wanna have a meaning for your name because you don't wanna get a good name and then hate it five months down the road of owning a clothing brand. You're just gonna be miserable. And then you're gonna be making designs for that name and it's just not worth it and then the last thing i wanted to talk about in this video is designers i'm gonna plug some of my favorite designers up on the screen right here i'm gonna give you their instagrams don't hit them on no bullshit either give them some cool ideas to work with but all these dudes that i'm gonna list up here have worked for me they're really good um, graphic designers and I just want to say if you made it this far to the video please like and subscribe because I'm promise I'm giving out sauce that nobody's really gonna give out and I'm just being truthful and I'm giving you even my own designers so yeah make sure you subscribe but um, everyone I list like listed for design work I love them they're super fire their rates may be expensive but I promise they will give you good work it's always a key to have designers on your side that are your homies and are down to work for you whenever because when you own a clothing brand and you've designed numerous drops, you just get these blocks where you can't design pieces. And you're like, hey, I need this done and I want it to look like this and your designers got you. Always keep designers with you and um, always make sure you have them on deck just in case you ever get that artist block. But um, I appreciate you guys for tuning into this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. This is week number two of weekly uploads and we're going to keep going. Comment down below what you guys want me to post a video on next. I'm thinking a day in the life of owning a warehouse and what we do around the warehouse. But you guys let me know in the comments. Love you guys. Thank you for watching and later.